Many people assume that since they can no longer get a Minecon cape, they might as well go for a Realms map maker cape. Easy, right? Well, not so much. Today we're going to be going through the exact steps you have to take in order to qualify for one of these capes. Let's jump right in, shall we? To begin with, you're probably going to want to be a little bit better than average at building. And by a little bit, I mean significantly. Based on the amount of work that goes into receiving a cape, you're probably going to want to also put together a skilled building team. Now, time to get to work on your map. After completing your build, you must submit it to the Minecraft Realm subreddit where you'll receive feedback from content coordinators. After submitting, you have a chance to be accepted into the Realms Content Creator Program, where you'll be added to the Realms Slack and receive access to the Atlas Submission Portal. From there, once your maps are submitted to Atlas, if they are approved, they'll be accessible to anyone with a Realm subscription, making your map official. For each accepted submission, you will receive a certain number of points. A World Template will award 2 points, Inspiration Maps will award 3 points, Mini games, experiences, and adventure maps will award 4 points. Now to qualify for the cape, you must have a total of at least 8 points under your belt. Now I know what you're thinking. Well why don't I just pay a map maker to put my name on the build and get me a cape? Well first off, in order to receive any points, you must be listed as a primary creator on the submission, and there can only be 3 primary creators per build. You must also be well established in the community to earn the cape and there is no guarantee you even receive it. Having maps approved and published may also take months, and they'll need to be of excellent quality in order to be accepted. Now, if you got pockets overflowing with cash, then sure, you might be able to find a map maker who is willing to credit you for a price. Take this service, for example, who charges $6,000 for normal accounts and $8,000 for OG accounts. Why so expensive? Well, very, very few people are willing to risk doing this, and it's not easy. If you are caught illegitimately obtaining the cape, or are caught selling the map maker cape like this, you will be blacklisted and have your cape permanently removed. This happened to the user Bsau, who was selling credit spots on their builds when the infamous Duper Trooper reported them after they ghosted someone who they were supposed to credit. All in all, if you truly want a map maker cape, build and get good at it. Alright, well, that's all. Catch y'all on the flip side.